Hello and welcome friends to Knowledge Byte. In our today's lecture, we will discuss two things broadly. One is tokens, another is data types. Okay, what do you mean by tokens? A token is the smallest element of C++ program that is meaningful to the compiler. Means, हम जब program लिखते हैं जो स्मॉलेस्ट इंडिविजुअल वर्ड्स होते हैं कि सिंबल्स होते हैं जिसका कंपाइलर के लिए कुछ स्पेसिफिक मतलब होता है उसको हम टोकन्स कह सकते हैं ओके टोकन इज ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड अंडर फाइव कैटेगरीज दोज आर की वर्ड्स आइडेंटिफायर्स कॉन्स्टेंट्स स्ट्रिंग्स ऑपरेटर्स वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दिस थिंग्स ग्रेजुअली वन बाय वन ओके लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल a program for tokens the program is nothing but print hello world this program was discussed in the previous video okay um uh, so take a guess what are the tokens present okay think and write down on the paper then cross check with the answers Okay, then let's cross check these answers. Tokens are include IO stream using namespace std, int main, opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis, opening curly brace, then C out, then your insertion operator. Sorry, insertion operator. then double quote within double quote what is written hello world this is a string okay we will discuss classification later on then written then zero then we can say tick this one what is this semicolon then hash opening angle bracket closing angle bracket and again then last but not the least this closing curly brace okay these are the tokens broadly classified by the compiler means then it goes to the parser and classified under these five categories okay tokens are se segregated into five categories as we discussed one is keyword another is identifier then constants then string and then operators okay first discuss what do you mean by keywords keywords are predefined reserved identifiers means identifiers you can say also tokens that have special meanings okay those are predefined words which are defined by the compiler and have some special meaning means fixed meaning for the programming language that is for c++ they cannot be used as identifier in a program means one programmer cannot write those words for other users okay so let's look into the details means let's cover all the keywords what are the keywords present in uh, general c++ there are 48 keywords those are like this asm double new switch auto else operator template break in um, private this ca case extern protected through likewise up to while okay just take a look again the ansi committee do you know what do you mean the ansi committee ansi stands for american national standard institute wo institute har language ko uh, standardize karta hai means that institute standardize all type of programming languages according to the committee some certain keywords are added to these existing keywords what are they they are just bool then expert then just const cast then false static cast and so on these are using dynamic cast mutable true w char underscore t explicit namespace type name okay these are the externally means added by the ansi c++ standards okay in total these are the keywords these 
total are the keywords present in ANSYS-C. Okay. Now, what do you mean by identifier? Okay. Identifier. This is referred to a name of the variable or function. Name of variable, function or classes. Etc. Means those are used in program at the right time of creation of a program by the programmer. Okay. Those are created by the programmers. Each language has its set specific set of rules for creating identifiers. Okay, let's discuss what are the set of rules for creating identifiers for C++. Okay, only alphabetic characters, digits and underscore are permitted for creating identifier in C++. This is the rule number one. Uh, what, did, what is the rule number two? The name cannot start with digit. Okay, for example, I have one variable that is integer type and I am writing, let's say, int a is allowed, but int 1, 2, 3 is not allowed. Also, int a underscore 1, 2, 3 is allowed, but int 1, 2, 3 underscore a is not allowed. Okay, sorry. We have not discussed what do you mean by int. We will discuss it later. Just for understanding, int means integer type that we will discuss it later. What is the next rule? Uppercase and lowercase letter are distinct. Yes. Let's say I have one variable that is int small abc and another variable int capital ABC, then both are different, not same. Okay. That means uppercase and lowercase letters are distinct in meaning. What do you mean by another rule? Last rule is a, de a declared keyword cannot be used as variable name. As we discussed in the previous slide, keyword are predefined reserved identifiers. That is the same meaning. A declared keyword cannot be used as variable name. Okay, because it is predefined, it has some special specific fix meaning for C++. Okay. Then let's discuss what do you mean by data type. As we use this variable, where to use variable? We need data. For that storing data, we need variable. Then how to classify those data? In C++, we can broadly classify data types into three categories. One is user-defined type, another is derived type and one is built-in type. Built-in type is means predefined by the compiler. What do you mean by user-defined? Those are defined by the users. Okay. See, uh, structure, union, class, enumeration. These four categories are under user-defined, which we will discuss later on. Then derived type are which are derived from the built-in type and jewel as user defined type. Those are derived. Okay, derived are the combination of built-in and user defined. Then array, function, pointer, and references. These four falls under what derived type. Let's now focus on what do you mean by built-in type that is predefined okay built-in type is also categorized subcategorized in three segments one is integral type another is floating point type and one is void type what do you mean by integral the variable having the value integral type integral again classified under two categories one is int another is care. Int is the data type where we can store the integer type data. Then what do you mean by care? Care is a category where we can store characters that means special symbols and alphabets. Okay. Care start, uh, having 20 uh, in total there is 256 characters 
starting with 0 to 255 means each character have some specific exact integral value that's why this char falls under integral type okay now what do you mean by floating point type having the floating point precision depending on precision this floating point type is divided into two segments again one is float another is double okay we will discuss it later but what is the size of this type of data because when we are writing some program kya hota hai ki program mein jo data create hota hai uske liye memory space chahiye so how to know which type of data type takes how many bytes of memory in a me memory block okay uske liye hum kya karenge ek program likhenge aur usko run karenge jo humko uska size batayega how to know that there is a operator in c++ known as size of size of operator will help to find out what are the sizes of these predefined type of data let's run the code humne pehle se program likha hua hai first check that program okay uh, okay sorry first go to the program we are inside the demo uh, directory the file name is size let's check whether it is there or not yes name is size okay now write down the command what is the command g edit then size dot cpp it will open the file okay what is the code uh yes hash include io stream then hash include stdlib dot h why here it is dot s here not because io stream is the header file of c++ library whereas stdlib falls under c type library okay in c programming we need dot h extension okay then using namespace std then int main then parent sorry curly braces dot here we have declared four five data types what are they char then int then float then double and then void and we have given some pre means fix initialization value okay now what we are doing we are calling one function that is named uh, system and passing the parameter that clear means it will clear the terminal okay clear the data present in terminal then it will print because these are the statements known as c out statements okay what are the statements uh, size of data types means it will give the heading okay uh, then i am putting one another statement there okay it will create a draw a line okay okay then end l what do you mean by end l it will end the line okay means the next line will be begin with a new line okay uh size of operator and passing i am pa here in line number 14 i am passing a a is a int is uh, sorry character type it will return how many byte it takes here again b then c then d then ptr all these belongs to this category is declared here okay now at the end before ending or closing curly braces return zero semicolon okay save it close it then compile it how to compile just type g++ file name dot cpp enter okay compilation successful then how to run it dot slash a dot out see first system clear ho gaya means terminal then size of data types then this straight line is there then what char size is 1 that means 1 byte int size is 4 byte float size is 4 byte double size is double precision so 8 byte void is generic type that is 8 byte we have not discussed what do you mean by void void is a predefined data type 
okay void is a predefined data type which is used only for two things in generally one is creating generic pointer we will discuss what do you mean by generic pointer in next to next videos we'll discuss that one okay what do you mean what is, what is another use another way use is we use void for returning value in the function also we will discuss what in the video lecture video of function okay these are the two uses okay in our next video we will discuss what do you mean by expression and operators in c++ okay if you people like our video please like the video and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel till then thank you